In the desert of central Utah, scientists are taking a close look at the universe. They're capturing deep space subatomic particles as they come through the Earth's atmosphere. And as new specialist Mike Anderson explains, what they learn could eventually help us answer some big questions. While the Webb Space Telescope is showing us deep space in ways that we've never seen before, there's another search far beyond our solar system that's happening in Delta, Utah. So they come here from where? We don't know. We would like to find that out. Uh, we'd like to find out what they're made of chemically. John Matthews, a professor of physics at the University of Utah, is also looking deep, but in a different way, looking for something we can't see. Huge telescope arrays like this one, 60 of them, housed in three different buildings help capture rays coming from deep space as they enter our atmosphere. You need something that gathers a lot of light and focuses it up into a little spot and then you need a camera that's extremely fast that can see something that lasts for a millionth of a second. The rays are made up of tiny particles expelled from extremely destructive events, more violent than a supernova. It could be something like a black hole that's eating something like maybe even another black hole and it's swirling around as it's going in. But by the time the rays make it across the universe to us. This is all very faint, happens in a millionth of a second. That's why they're out here in the middle of nowhere, no sunlight, no moon, so that these mirrors can reflect as much of that light as possible back into these cameras. Terabytes of data stored in a server room to be later analyzed. They never know when these events are going to happen. Part of the reason why the use Cosmic Ray Research Program is so vast. Spread across a half million acres. When we see events, we're excited, especially really high energy events. While these telescope arrays capture the rays coming down through the atmosphere, these detectors, known as scintillators, cast a wider net. There's about 900 of these out in the desert at the moment. They cover a little more than a thousand square miles. But because cosmic rays don't travel in a straight line, narrowing down their exact origin is extremely difficult. We do see that there's what is beginning to look like a source close to the Big Dipper, Ursa Major. Still, that won't stop them from trying. Now you can combine all this data and figure out more precisely where did it come from. All in an effort to better understand the universe. There's a lot of opportunity for new and interesting physics out there. In Delta, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. Wow, spectacular pictures, Mike. Thank you.